Okay. Yes, that's me. So if you start to your pockets. Serve this side here. Thank you, sir. Why? Hey guys! Welcome to our environmental vlog! So we are here to talk about Styrofoam! <laughs> Did you know that Styrofoam or polystyrene foam has become such an accepted everyday product that people rarely stop to re realize that it is made from polystyrene, a petroleum-based plastic. In fact, Styrofoam is a trade name for expanded polystyrene. According to 2015 BBC report, it explains that polystyrene beads are processed using chemicals that steam and expand. It gained popularity because it is lightweight and it's 98% air and it is 2 to 3 times cheaper than other cardboards and papers. Polystyrene is a versatile plastic used to make a wide variety of consumer products. As a hard, solid plastic, it is often used in products that require clarity such as packaging, insulation, crafting, and food storage. Since styrofoam is disposable, piles and piles of this stuff ends up in our landfills. And because it is lightweight, it can float and it ends up in our beautiful shores. And it is actually the main cause of water pollution. And according to EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, people throw away 25 trillion styrofoam cups and it's just cups. bad for the environment, it destroys land masses, pollutes oceans, rivers, and other bodies of water. It causes starvation and choking for the animals. What you should do to help the environment and reduce the use of styrofoam is to BYO. Bring your own containers, bring your own tumblers, and other usable utensils. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> can make an eco-friendly choices to eliminate the use of styrofoam.